you for another video. If you're joining me for the first time, hello! I have three food related surprise toys, which I quite like. Um, Smushy Mushy um, came into my country at $10, which I wasn't too much of a fan of because of the size of them, but they're down to $3 New Zealand each. So, yeah, in the local toy world, if you're looking for Smushy Mushies, they're now $3, so I love them. <laughs> Good at $3. Kitten Cafe. Now this one here is $15 and I consider that pretty reasonable considering LOL dolls are, you know, about $25 to $35 each. So for $15 you get a LOL-like kitty type doll. And on Itty Bitty Pretties, excuse my kids' tattoos on me, <laughs> is a LOL-like doll with a bit more articulation in them. I didn't think I would like these, but when I opened up my first one, Astra and I decided that they are very cute, and there's actually a very short, they're only a small collection list. I think it was something like, maybe it was 10 or something to collect, maybe less. And um, we'll have a look, look at the collection list. I've only opened up one so far, and I thought she was super cute, so we'll see if that keeps going on. Let's start with the Smushy Mushies. Okay, so this is obviously an ice cream cone with what looks like some berry ice cream on top. I'd say strawberry, apart from it's a bit darker. Maybe it's strawberry. Looks like berry ice cream to me. Really easy to open. It's as simple as that. They have a little tag at the side. And we will have a look in here. It shows what you can collect, but we'll have a look at the collection list when I bring it out. And then it's just a matter of unscrewing the ice cream. And we have, oh, it's the one I wanted, the little like chucky chip <laughs> kitty. That's so cute. Okay, so we'll get out the pieces that come with her. We get always get a sticker. You get a name tag. Oh, we'll bring these up close. A uh, little ice cream and the collection list. Let's have a look at the collection list. All right, so there's eight in this series to collect. This is series three. Oh, my first one I opened the bunny and of course the bunny was my favorite and the one I wanted because I love bunnies. My second choice was the kitty Lola Leopard and Mika Mocha. So I got the two that I wanted which is really really awesome. All the other ones are cute but I wasn't too fussed on when and if I get them. So having the two I wanted, awesome. Let's look at them up close. Here is Lola Leopard, and I just found out she is actually the ultra rare. <laughs> so that's awesome. I got super lucky. Mmm. Mmm. They smell exactly the same as all the other ones. I don't know why. Um, the same with the Smashy Mashies. I think they all smell sweet and chemically. I know they're meant to smell different. Someone said they're meant to smell different. But to be quite honest, I think they all smell like chemicals. <laughs> There's the name underneath. She's very cute. Let's give her a squish. And back she goes. Okay, let's see what came with her. Surprise bag! Which, strangely enough, has their friend in, even though you see what they are long before they come out with the collection list and with the sticker. I never understood that, <laughs> to be quite honest, putting the one thing into the surprise bag. So it's just a, basically just a plastic bag waste. Mika Mocha, Mochi, Mika Mochi. So I don't know exactly what this is, whether it's like a chocolate with a center in the, with a um, cream filled center and I just throw it on the ground there. It's very, very cute though. And these are fast rising ones. She's got a little flower in her hair, so that is her best friend. You then get a miniature ice cream, which if you unscrew, comes with these little chains. So you can connect the best friend to the credit you get. And on top of that, you can also connect the name tag and the ice cream. So here is the name tag. You can see I've connected them all together. It's very, very cute and I quite like it for displaying and for collecting as it keeps all the accessories with the main character. I really, really like that. <laughs> I love that I got the ultra rare. I didn't know that at all. The last one is the sticker, which to be honest, I just give it to my kids and they'll stick it in a scrapbook somewhere. Super happy with the first find. 
Okay, so the next one I want to open is the Kitten Cafe. Now, I only need, I think, about four or five more kittens. I've been collecting these off camera. Um, if you've been on my Instagram, you'll see some that I've got. I really do like these kitten cafes. To be honest, I'm surprised they're not more popular than they are. Um, I don't know whether it's because of marketing that they aren't so widely known or that girls are just going through a doll phase, like lol doll phase, where, you know, they want the the humanoids, which I'm actually quite for. I'm quite for that. <laughs> but um, there is no mistaking that Kitten Cafe is an adorable collectible. Now, this cup can actually be used for cold liquids. I don't think it's dishwasher safe or anything like that. I'm having a look here. No, it doesn't look like it is. It's saying don't put it... Yeah. I don't know, maybe this dishwasher safe. I'm not 100% certain. Certainly says, you know, it's for cold liquids, not for hot beverages. There is a sippy cup there. I absolutely love this. I've kept a bunch of these for a kids party in the future where we're just going to give each kid one of these for free with their drink. So at the top, you have a little kitty bed, which also goes with their familiar who's a, like a little bead kitty of all things. <laughs> this here is where you get your bead kitty. It's like a little tea bag you drop in and it has this kind of cute little plasticky thing here. Honestly, I just snip it open. I don't like messing with the water. There is a tiny little surprise bag there. Another bigger surprise bag and then your checklist. So here is the checklist. There is 12 to collect. I really want Puridonna Pounce. Um, I don't have her. <laughs> I really, really want her. Um, the other ones I need, I think I need Coco, Mocha, Sue, Still, and Fifi Fay. I think there might be one more I need past that. So there's four I need. Um, I love this collection. And when I get the time and it's fully collected, I'll do a video on the entire collection. It's very, very cute. Okay, starting with the little tea bag. I'm just going to chop into it without hopefully damaging the beads. Oh, now you can get one, two, or three. This has three in there. Very, very cute. Let's have a look up close. So the first bead, doo -doo -doo, get it the right way and in focus. Focus, please. Thank you. We have a little tan kitty with stripes at the side. Aren't these adorable? There are so many crafts you can use these in if you get double ups. Then we have this little purple kitty with brown eyes and then a pink kitty with a yellow patch. So that's adorable and that's three of them. Let's put those back there. Then we have the smaller surprise bag. Opening up this. This is where you will find the clothes. We have a purple jacket with pink underlay and sparkly, those are sparkly cuffs and a couple of deep pink shoes with white soles. I don't remember if I have this one. Let's find out. This might actually be Ginger Glitz and she is the other one I was trying to remember that I need. If she is, that's fantastic. Oh, we've got this here. I don't know yet. I only briefly looked over and I don't remember this hmm this is the fluffy skirt I'm trying to think did I have a rainbow skirt with any of my other ones there is a little split at the back you'll see that is where the kitty's tail goes in and this is something you've got to be careful with when you're opening up your kitty you have to be careful that you don't forget the tail because in my experience a lot of them have the tail detached Yes, it is Ginger Glitz. That means I only need three more to complete my set. Oh, that's so lucky. And she has her tail attached, saying that she has her tail attached. The majority of them that I've opened, you have to make sure you get the tail from the plastic bag. So that's fantastic. I'm really happy about that. I'll bring down the camera and we can dress her together. It's always so fun knowing that a collection is almost complete. I will bring her up and we'll have a close-up look. 
First off, let's take off her hair. The hair is changeable and it is removable. And then get her little jacket on, of which she has. Yeah, the jacket opens at the front. I was just looking. Sometimes they have the split at the back. So she has her jacket and she has like a little bra thing underneath here. Sorry. Put that back in. And then we have this skirt. Some of the skirts can be a little fiddly to get on. Let's pull it up. Best to take the tail off so we can pull it up right to her middle section. And then put the tail back on. I'm so happy. I love when I'm getting to the end of a collection. Now, I still want Pirate Donna so much. So I'm definitely going to be looking what colors she comes out of on someone else's video and then locating, buying a whole bunch of that color because <laughs> I want her that badly. Oh my goodness, aren't they adorable? And then let's put her hair back on. Here she is up close. They have blue sparkly eyes. She has purple hair that is white tipped. You can see the tail where it split goes through the split in the skirt here. She has her little jacket with a little singlet on underneath. And it's always like rain boots, aren't they? Like rain boots. I really, really love these uh, kitten cafes and for $15 they are on the cheaper side for the surprise dolls if you've got a child who's more orientated towards animals but you are a mother that's really wanting to get in on the lol surprise doll face these are a great option okay last of all a relatively new surprise toy in my country is the Zuru so many surprises hiding inside itty bitty pretties. Now, I'm going to be honest, when I first saw these, I was like, eh. <laughs> I watched um, an opening on a larger toy channel and I was not impressed at all. I was like, oh, they're trying to jump into the lol doll surprise. I'm kind of over surprised dolls in some ways in that regard. But for $15, I decided to take a punt on one of those outings with my son on the Sunday. If you go on my Instagram, Toys Dolls Fun, you'll see that um, every Sunday we pick a, like, like a little toy each. And I decided to go with this and have some fun. See what it was all about. And I honestly thought that I was not going to be impressed and over it. We really like the doll that came out of it. So up the top here is a perforated edge which I quite honestly suck at. I don't know anyone who really is good at them but I am with the masses and that I just can't do it. <laughs> so once you've pulled it partially down you can remove this and for recycling and take out the surprises. So we've got this one, uh, it's probably a water soluble thing, I'm just going to cut into it. A surprise bag and we have this little thing that you meant to melt in water, which we will do. Um, I guess because we have to. Let's see if I can get the cup out. And then you go into the bottom here. So this is something I actually didn't see on the other toy channels thing, they didn't bring all this stuff out. You've got another fine bag another blind bag, a checklist, and the doll stand. I'm just going to bring up the little teacup. Again, it's for cold liquids. A child can use it for cold liquids, um, as long as you don't dissolve this thing in it, <laughs> I'd say. Um, it's a, just another little cute. I love when they have cute packaging that can be repurposed. All right, so here are the itty bitty pretties. It is only eight dolls to collect in the tea party. These four over here come in the giant teacups. Those are $50, I believe, in my country. But these ones are 15 each. Now, we got in our first one, Roxette, and she is very, very cute. The artwork does actually not do them justice. Normally with dolls, as my daughter said when we first got this, when you see the artwork, the artwork is so much cooler than the dolls. But in this case, the dolls are actually cooler than the artwork. Okay, I really didn't want to get water on my toys, but I forgot about this one here, which you really need to put in water. So it is one of those little soluble cubes. Like, I guess it's meant to be like, you know, like a sugar cube you put into your coffee. 
Um, but it's yellow <laughs> <laughs> and sparkly. Let's put it in there. I can't get my nails into it. It's just slipping and sliding everywhere. Boop. Oh, and get it on my, partially on my thing. That's all right. It's just water that went on with a lot of glitter. So there we have it kind of just breaking apart. Kids love this stuff. I don't. I'm an adult. I'm just like, ugh. What is in here? It is a black thing. <laughs> oh, it's a couple of... Now that we've got it closer, let's bring it in focus. A couple of what looks like bat earrings. So I'll put that aside. I don't want to look at the checklist and kind of ruin who I'm getting. Now I'm assuming, I'm not looking at the instructions, that this is also water soluble and you're just meant to put it in here. And uh, let it go really gross and slimy and there's glitter on whatever there was. Okay, I wish I'd actually cut into that. Don't put that thing in water. That's what it's meant to happen, obviously, because it just dissolved, but it's made it slimy. <laughs> Gross, honestly. Honestly, it's disgusting. This is adorable, though. This is like a little devilish outfit. It is red and sparkly, and look at the little demon tail at the back. There's a little demon tail just poking out the back there. That is so cute it, though it's covered in slime now from that bag why Zoro why honestly <laughs> I honestly nearly every parent I've talked to has said that they're over the slime slime kinetic sand and what's the other thing slime kinetic sand and play-doh being an every surprise toy can we just have plastic bags please <laughs> <laughs> All right, so this is the big one. So I don't want to open my dolly yet, but I'm just saying she's got bat earrings and this little devil outfit. She's going to be so cute. All right, and you can get two of these dolls for the price of one of the lol dolls. Okay. Let's open it up. What have we got? All right, so we've got a little heart with deco pieces in. There's some bats, looks like fire and tridents. We'll put those there. We have a little teapot. Now they all seem to come with this. My first one came with a teapot too. As it is like tea party dolls, which actually comes with the lid. These would be really cute if they were customized because they come with the lid and the teapot. And she came with a little cup with a bat on the side that is adorable absolutely adorable i like those little accessories not so much the deco pieces i don't really care about the deco pieces but that little teapot and stuff so let's give this a snip and oh yeah yeah that's right <laughs> just speaking of play-doh how everything comes with slime and play-doh my first one came with this teeny tiny amount of play-doh as well and it's splat you know if you're if you're into this stuff you're into this stuff if your child's into this stuff they're into this stuff i'm so over slime play-doh and kinetic sand i no <laughs> that is going into the rubbish bin not gonna lie rubbish for that <laughs> There's nothing in there. Okay, so now for the main doll. I was so impressed with my first opening with Roxette on the looks. I'm hoping this one is the same. Sometimes you get your first, best one on your first one, and then the second one you're like, eh. <laughs> the rest of the series you're like, eh. But I'm hoping I'm just as impressed on... Oh, we got some fishnet stockings. We got a little red... <gasps> oh, yes. Oh, okay, yes, I love her. I love her already. She's got green sparkly eyes. Her hair is the shimmery red. And it's not long. It's like in a... It's cut short, but there's some longer pieces. If you look at... Yeah, it looks like these pieces to the side here are longer. Actually, whoever's cut the hair has cut it really haphazardly. It's um not a very good haircut on her. What else is in here? I just... Oh, 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 we've got some, we got some devil ears headband and some sunglasses. Are they sunglasses? No, they look like glasses. 
She's cute. I'm gonna have a look what her name is on the list. Okay, I got Nor T, T E A. So Nor T. She's very, very cute, and I'll show you the extra articulation on this doll. It's not major, but I quite like it. Um, let's get her dressed and have fun. Okay, so the first piece I'm going to put on her is her outfit, which is this little devil suit, which is just cute. Now, if it's awkward, it's because I've got acrylic nails. Not necessarily because of the doll make. However, the slime being all over it does make it a little more difficult to dress her, which is annoying. Yeah, it's really sticky. Her outfit is super slippery and sticky because of that slime. That's a that's silly. I should have known just to cut into it, but since I had the water in front of me, I figured I'd go with it. <laughs> All right, so I've got the bottom part on. I've got one over the shoulder. Excuse me, I'll move the camera back a bit so I don't have to be holding her so much on one spot because I think I'm gonna have to put this up over her arm. Oh, there we go. That arm is meant to be upwards like she's waving. Okay, so her little outfit's on. It's sparkly and red. It is quite daring actually. <laughs> She's quite cute. All right, and then we have these holes in her ears, which are obviously for her bat earrings. Put that in there, and in this side. There we go, she's got her little earrings on. Where are her shoes? Question, where are her shoes? I can see them floating around in sloppy, yucky water. <laughs> They're at the bottom. They must have come out of that thing and I didn't realize. Ew! Ew times two. Gross. <laughs> I'm going to give them a bit of a dry then. Let's put them on her. All right. I've given them a dry and I'm going to place them on her. Very easy to slip on. It's cute. <laughs> I wish they'd make them sparkly like the dress. The dress is actually a deeper red because of the glitter, but I guess they match her hair quite well. We then have these devil ears, and there is a little peg behind her ears for them to go in. Just behind her ears, there is, see that little hole there for them to go in? So, if I can get them on without ruining her fringe, but going over the long hair, let's see if I can... Perfect. That wasn't too much drama. I actually thought that was going to be a little worse than I thought it would be. <laughs> she really looks like she's a bit rebellious. And then last of all are these shades, but I'm not sure if I like the shades. I really am not sure. So let's get them on, but they might short promptly come... Yeah. You've got this gorgeous outfit and everything, and then you've got these really wonky, weird kind of shades. I don't like these, so they're gonna stay off. Let's have a look at her up close. Here she is up close with her gorgeous sparkly green eyes and her sparkly outfit. Her hand is meant to be up in the waving position. If you move it down, unfortunately it messes with the outfit she is wearing. These are her little devil ears. She has a rather haphazard cut. I'm gonna say it's a haphazard cut. It's almost like it's cut wonky, like whoever cut it was meant to be doing a style of some sort, but it's pretty messy. <laughs> it's pretty messy, so I'm gonna do something with that to straighten it off and actually make it look really cute because she is a very cute doll. Her fringe, however, isn't too bad. Um, there's a few pieces, which again, I'm just gonna chop them to make it a bit more tidy. She has on printed onto her legs the fishnet stockings and then she has these boots. The extra rotation is uh, articulation is actually in the leg so she can move them forward and back off to the side but she can also rotate them. So they have just a tiny tiny bit more in them. You know they go forward they go back 
and then also that rotation and ninja kick off to the side. So there is just a little, little tiny bit more into the leg with that rotation, which is really, really cool. The rest of her is standard head movement, arm movement. To be honest, I think her arms need to stay in this position. The last thing that you can do with her is she comes with a doll stand because she is a small doll and able to stand by herself. You can just pop her feet into the holder like so and there she is ready to display which I think is very very cute. I wonder if you can put this on top of your teacup. Let's see. Oh goodness. <laughs> you can but it's a bit it's a bit wonky and a bit weird. <laughs> So we will keep her just like this. Let's do a flyby. Here are the three surprise toys I opened today, all to do with eating <laughs> or drinking, I guess you could say. One is the Smushy Mushy, this kind of ice cream looking with chocolate chips leopard. Very cute, smells great. The next is the Kitten Cafe, of which if you've seen my Instagram, you'll know I'm quite partial to a good cafe. Um, cappuccino, cattuccino. <laughs> super duper happy as I super duper wanted this one. Super duper happy as this is the ultra rare and I got this one here which is new to my collection. The only negative I can say about her is her hair. I'm going to point out I'm not impressed with her hair but the, as for the doll itself and its outfit I'm really happy for $15 New Zealand. I think they're a good affordable range for the surprise dolls. So you know if you've got a little girl who wants to go into the lol thing but you can't afford it, go with these ones. If you love surprise toys please give this video a thumbs up if you love toys in general please subscribe we love to open toys here and we love to share thank you so much for watching bye bye